This is an electric conversion of a 1968 Piaggio Ape. First step, we're going to pull the gas motor. It's right here, already in the process. Uh, the way that these work is engine turns here, which um, goes down into the differential, which connects to these two axles, which goes to a sprocket, which is right here, and I'll show you in a bit, which goes down through a chain to the wheels, and here's a suspension. So we're gonna take all of this out, we're gonna leave the stock suspension and utilize that for the electric conversion. And yeah, get rid of a lot of weight. So check back in. Okay, update on the Ape. The gas motor is now gone. Uh, so the motor is removed, the chain cases, which went from here, a little bit of rust to clean up, down to here where the wheels are, are now gone, but we still kept the stock suspension. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld up some mounts to have a cross tube down here, which then I will have, so say it's mounted here, a swing arm that goes back down here so that I'd be actually independent rear suspension. So both will actuate individually. So pretty cool. Let me go grab some pieces and you'll see what it looks like. So these are the swing arms that I designed through, um, on my computer sent to Sen Cut Sen and they cut it out for me. But these are the mounts that I am going to weld to the frame right here on the thick part. This is going to be a swing arm. There's four of them so I can make um, two swing arms. And then I have these middle brackets that actually go into the sleeves and then into this um, one inch pipe to create the whole system. So this conversion cost me less than what I sold the motor for. So net profit of positive and I'll never have to clean a carb. I'll never have to adjust anything. It's all electric. Um, it can be used for, I don't know, farmer's market or a coffee cart. And then it can sit for a couple months and then I can plug it back in, charge it, and it's good to go. Unlike these op -base, normally they sit and they don't always run right. Final update of the day for the electric op -base conversion. Here it is, full electric wheels. Brakes need to be adjusted. That's, that's a good one. So uh, we'll have drum brakes, which are located in here and here. These are the exact same wheels, so it did have to be flipped, but um, all our Hall effects wires um, and phase wires will be run up to underneath where the actual engine used to sit, uh, where we will have two of the exact same 72 volt controllers, which will be powered by the same 72 volt battery, which I have over here. And you can run two controllers off of one battery using one throttle, which is a pretty cool setup. So here's our 72 volt battery. Uh, this thing is a beast. It's actually recycled cells from a Toyota Prius Prime 2017. So pretty cool, 20 in series, and they can really pack a punch. Now, the goal of this thing is not to go fast. It is to probably go around 25, 30 miles per hour, honestly, like a, an electrified golf cart. So um, let's see if we can see some of our welds while we're here. Some of our welds, not the best, not the worst. Functional. There we go. So, yeah, more to come from this, but just wanted to give you an update. Oh yeah, some molten metal hit my eye right there and it's all swollen, but besides that, no other injuries. So, good project. Took about, I don't know, three and a half hours, but the, the bulk of it was pulling out the engine which is all over here and uh, someone is coming to buy right now and I'm on, I'm selling the engine for the same price that I bought the whole Ape for so in my head it's a free project. All right, I just wanted to show you my planning process. I started with a computer design of the Ape itself, uh, a 3D scan. I didn't make this, I found it online and it's actually a really high quality scan. I was thinking of doing this like fully 3D um, structure that would hold each stock swing arm that I got these motors from, from these like electric mopeds, but uh, something kind of like this. I ended up realizing it would just be easier to make my own swing arms from scratch, which I designed on my computer. I just drew while I was at work um, of the setup. 